Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be checking out the Highlands, a superb fantasy golf course designed by Alan Greenspan. And of course we do have to play this as the legend that is Tiger Woods. So let's check out the course details. It is a par 72. Fairways are normal, greens are normal, the green speeds are medium fast, the weather is clear and the time of day is dusk. Let's check out the tee options. There are three tee options. We will be playing from the Tiger tees, which are playing 7,618 yards. And as always, pin set number one. Now, thank you so much for the continued support on the channel, guys. I will be trying to bring lots and lots of PGA Tour 2K23 content for your enjoyment to the channel. So please make sure to smash the subscribe button and leave a like if you are enjoying the content. So here is the world famous Highlands fantasy golf course which did feature on the original tiger woods ea sports pga tour i'm just going to take this down the left hand side of the fairway that 12 mile per hour wind will comfortably hold us up and bring us around to the right hand side there is a perfect straight off the bat that is going to leave me a long lengthy very difficult shot into this green 237 yards down 25 feet 14 mile per hour crosswind Severe slope at my feet. Let's apply a tiny bit of drop. Try and land this short of the green. And hopefully it does kick up onto the dance floor. There's another perfect. Back-to-back -back perfects. On master swing difficulty. This should comfortably run up towards the flag stick. That needs to slow down. Wow. I have been saying that the balls are sitting down extremely quickly. Regardless of the course conditions and the firmness of the greens but that takes the biscuit there it's the first time i've seen a ball run right through the green like that chip shots are extremely delicate and that is going to ensure an opening par but this really is an extremely tough golf course guys notorious for being difficult and offering a real test and challenge hole number two this is a very long par five Driver is out of the question here. I think we will come down to the five wood. I'm just going to shape this from right to left against the wind. Tiny bit of drop. And hopefully that wind does move me from left to right. There is a fast, but it's a horrible swing line. This ball is going to kick hard right, I do feel, off this bank. That could well run into the heavy rough. That would be disaster. It has done right into the heavy rough sadly we're not going to get there in two this is a risky shot as well i'm gonna to have to aim way over to the left hand side it's a horrible lie at my feet but trying to play for the kick from left to right on the fairway it's a good strike this ball should start to turn back towards the fairway it's done exactly that it's left me a lot longer shots into this green than i would have liked still a lot of work to do down 28 feet wind and the slope at my feet is really going to shift me from left to right. Oh, there's a tiny slow and a slight push and look at that. Look how far right that is going with the combination of the slope, the wind and the slow. And that is going to be a tricky up and down just for the par now. Let's see if we can splash this in. Just going to apply full backspin and fully attack this. The splash shots can be pretty tricky at times. That's a great execution. That could run in. Get in. Get in. Oh, Sod's Law checks up inches from the hole. Tiger likes that shot. I must admit, Tiger looks fantastic from certain views. But when the, the golfers are addressing the ball, there seems to be a constant shadow of darkness around them. I would like to see that fixed and improved so you can showcase the details, whether it be your my player creation or the professionals that are in the game. So hole number three. Can we reach that second part of the fairway? This is going to be a difficult shot with that win. Let's see if we can split the hazards and take this down the center of the fairway. 17 mile per hour wind here. Wow. There's a tiny fast. That wind is going to comfortably shift me from left to right. That should leave me in an ideal situation to go and attack this elevated green. 77 yards up 61 feet. Let's see what pitch options I do have. It's a shot I'm trying to embrace in the early stages of the game. I think pitching wedge should be really, really good. 
I think this club's made for it. The wind is going to shift me from left to right. There's a perfect. Didn't mean the 96% power, though. That ball reluctantly sitting down, but it is going to give me a good look for birdie. So good approach shot there. 14 feet out. Slightly downhill. Green speeds are 156. This will turn from right to left. The putting is so, so delicate. I've yet to play on the fastest green speeds, which I do believe are 192 this year. Please correct me if I am wrong, but I've got a feeling they are going to be very, very difficult with how delicate the putting is. But it's another solid par. Par on this course on many holes, especially on master swing difficulty in these conditions, is a decent round, decent score, should I say. Wow, this is brutal. Anything other than a perfect or as close to perfect as we can get could be an issue here. That's actually not bad. That ball is going to find the left-hand side of the green. This may bounce off, though. Oh, wow, look how quickly that sat down. Now, do you see what I'm saying from my first impressions about the greens? I know that ball is travelling from a, a high height, but wow, that is a very unrealistic landing. I've not hit that horrible putt line as well. That could well come back off the slope. But yeah, the, the ball physics at times, especially in and around the greens for me, look and feel very unnatural. Hopefully it is something to do address shortly. The game's never going to be released in perfect um, play and order, guys. Solid par save there. But there, Tiger looks absolutely fantastic in the animations. So let's see if we can pick up a birdie. Hole number five, this is a short par four. And I'm sure we can comfortably get a favourable kick over these rocks here. Just applied a little bit of loft to my driver. Oh, that's a fast, it's a grey fast. And that is going to be horribly punished. This is going to be brutal. I don't think I've got a shot here. I will try and draw this round this hill. I fear for the worst here, though. I think this is just a case of hitting and hoping anything up and around the green is going to be a good shot here. Yeah. Laser beam slow there. But that shot was always going to be difficult, and I'm now certainly looking at bogey territory. Let's see if we can pitch this one close. Just going to apply a little bit of backspin due to that 17 mile per hour wind. We do get a perfect. It's only 98% power, but that ball didn't fly as much as I expected it to. And this is now damage limitations. Full off, full backspin on this splash shot. Let's see if we can attack the flag. It's another really good swing line, tiny fast, but that came out a lot hotter than I expected it to. I've got an 18 foot putt for bogey here. This could well be a double bogey. And this is really going to make a challenging round now. I don't think I've hit that firm enough. I have. What a fantastic putt. It's done well just to walk away with a bogey, but sadly, I do move to one over par. Hole number six. This is the first of the par fives. I think we can take on the second part of the fairway. I'm just going to loft up the driver here, play the wind, and hopefully leave myself a short approach shot into the island green. Tiny fast, but I have pushed my swing line ever so slightly to the right. And that does find the fairway. What a fantastic tee shot that is. That ball didn't seem to launch into the air whatsoever. I'm not sure what degree of loft is on the, the driver I am using, Tiger's driver. Eight iron, tiny slow, but the wind is going to comfortably carry that. This is going to set up a good eagle opportunity. Oh, why that ball just once again stopped instantly on that uphill slope. But let's see if we can chip this one close. It just doesn't feel right to me how little I've got to pull back the, the stick, the club, to execute a shot. It's very, very difficult. It really is going to take a long time to get used to, but it just doesn't feel natural whatsoever. Completely overshot the green there. This is for birdie. Ah, there's a fast. That's going to come up short left. Disappointing only to make par there. But I'm not underestimating the game when I am saying 
in and around the greens is a lot, lot more difficult this year. Your splash shots, your flops, your pitches, your chips, the putting. And it's certainly costing me a few shots in these early rounds. There's a fast, pushed it right. Hopefully this holds a fairway. That could well be bunker bound. Just lost my rhythm here for the last few shots. Swing lines went as well. I'm fortunate that is just a light rough. Certainly not pitching it. I think Sam Wedge is too short. Pitching Wedge with full law, full backspin should be good here. 14 mile per hour winds holding me up. Tiny slope. Oh, that's going to come up short and this is probably going to spin back as well. It has done ever so slightly. I think this is going to be an uphill putt for the birdie. 31 feet. But the more I play the game, guys, the more I appreciate it. I think the gameplay is much improved. Graphically, it's certainly a, a slight upgrade, especially in the textures. I've really underhit that. I've not really delved into the game enough to check out other aspects of the game. How on earth did I miss that? Wow, that is terrible. Can't believe that putt turned as much as that. That is a real unforced bogey. Three putt bogey. Should have been a birdie. And we've walked away with a bogey and I do move to two over. But this really is a difficult golf course. Let's see if we can take this down the left hand side. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of fade. This 18 mile per hour wind should hold me up and keep me out to the left. There's a slight grey fast. That fade probably helped me out there. It is going to ensure we find the left hand side off the fairway. But the course looks absolutely superb. That wind should hold me up. 7 iron should be made for this. Anything left off the green should comfortably kick right and onto the dance floor. Oh. Certainly didn't play for the fast, but I think this is going to kick on to the green. You certainly um, achieve less perfects from my experience on Master Swing difficulty. Certainly not getting as many perfects as what I did on PGA Tour 2K21, but the punishment is far less for non-perfects. So delicate downhill putt. I've pushed that right, you know. That ball's not turning. Despite the push right, that ball never turned right as much as I expected it to. How on earth did that not turn? And this is still no gimme for the par save. A lot of turn in this. It is a good read. And we do walk away with the par. So two bogeys have blemished the scorecard. And look at this for a whole difficult par three. I'm going to try and play for the backstop there. And see if we can get the ball running back off that slope. Playing the wind. Applied a little bit of fade. It's a perfect. Oh, I've not played the wind anywhere near enough. Did you see the seagulls there? That's quite cool. I'm sure they were seagulls. Birds anyway. We are going to find that backstop. But it's going to leave me a long putt. Did not play the wind anywhere near enough there. So it's a long putt. 47 feet downhill. Turning from left to right. But once I do get to grips with the game, guys, I will start um, doing some hints and tips. Anything I find helpful to improve my game that I think could help you guys, I will certainly share. And I really cannot wait to get my PGA Tour career mode off and running. So stay tuned to the channel, guys. All the views, comments, feedback. All the support truly is appreciated. Hole number 10. This could be drivable. With a good tee shot here. That wind should shift me from left to right. Cool building away off there in the distance. There's a tiny fast. Surely this ball kicks right. Oh, it didn't. It kicks straight into the heavy rough. That is really unfortunate. I'm going to try and chip this out of the heavy rough. Just try to find that slope and let it work its way down onto the green. There's a red, a red slow. It's a, it's a dark or black slow now. I've really got to get the red slows and fast out of my head. It's just habit. Despite the poor shot, it's not the worst of outcomes. 
It's gave me an opportunity for a birdie. Wow, it just turns at the last second. And I just cannot walk away with a birdie. The greens certainly do break a lot more than what they did on PGA Tour 2K21. And look at this for a hole. Hole number 11. 15 mile per hour win behind me. Surely we can carry the bridge here. This is a fantastic rendition of the Highlands, guys. Absolutely buzzing to play all the old Tiger Woods remakes. Hopefully this holds the fairway. Oh, it's light rough. Sometime fortune favours the brave. And this is a difficult approach shot. I'm going to have to come down. Five iron is too long. Six iron should just about land on the front of the green. And hopefully navigate its way up the slope towards the pin. Tiny slope. It's tracking well. We should get a decent bounce here. It's a firm bounce. Is it going to hold up? Love the stone dikes behind the green there. And that is going to leave me a downhill putt. Turning from left to right. Let's see if we can make a putt. These are the kind of putts you are going to have to drain if you want to shoot well on this course. That's not turning. It's not turning. Oh, then it really turned towards the last second or two. Or the last feet. But we are going to pick up our first birdie. And that does take me back to plus one. One over par. Let's see if we can get a birdie streak going here. Hole number 12. This is a superb hole. With that wind, I don't think I'm going to get there, you know. I'm going to have to come back to... To three iron, maybe. Which now means I cannot reach this green in two, because this is a monster par four. Tiny fast, but surely this holds on to the left-hand side of the fairway. Look at that canal taking you down towards the bridge. Certainly not going to get there in two. Wow, that wind is so, so punishing. I've maybe made the wrong option there off the tee. Let's see if we can get this as far down the fairway as possible. It's another good strike, tiny fast. It is going to leave me a little window to potentially pitch this through the gap in the bridge. 86 yards, down 5 feet, 18 mile per hour wind. I'm just in between clubs here. It's going to have to be the, the pitching wedge. Oh, that's a grey slope. That's going to come up way short and right. And we are now looking at another bogey. I can't believe how long this hole is playing into that wind, but I maybe made the wrong option off the tee. But I'm going to flop this. Delicate touch once again required. Good execution. I've played it really, really well. It is going to ensure, hopefully ensure, the bogey. That is going to take me back to two over par. It really is one of these courses, guys, on master swing difficulty that any mistake, especially in these high winds, is just going to be punished and blemish your scorecard. Hole number 13, wind advantage. I'm just going to try and see how far I can drive this. Tiny slope. I think we are going to be bunker bound here. We actually missed the bunker. It's going to be the heavy rough. Let's see if we can pitch this one close. The wind's really going to help carry us out. Just going to try and land the short of the pin and let it run out. This should get a good kick up towards the flag stick. It's going to finish pin high, I think. It's actually ran off the green. Really difficult green contours there. Let's see if we can chip this one in. Yeah, I just don't like how little you've got to pull the stick back. It just does not feel natural it doesn't look realistic either hopefully that is something that is addressed and the guys at hb studios and 2k can iron these little issues out hole number 14 difficult tee shot here i'm going to take the big dog and try and take this down the left hand side avoiding these bunkers 
let's see if we can finish at level par. That's a fantastic strike. Hopefully, we do find the left-hand side of the fairway. That really should open up the green as well. That's going to be a great angle to go and attack this green. 14 mile per hour wind. Look how narrow and tight this green is. Wow. Playing the wind and the slope at my feet. So aiming this way left. 7 iron should hopefully kick up onto the dance floor. It's a good strike. Tiny slope. Has that got the legs to bounce up? It doesn't. That false front. And shooting I don't run up onto the green. Once again, it's going to be a chip shot that hopefully I can get close. Or maybe even sink. Good execution. Get in the hole. Wow, it stays left. Didn't turn. Good attempt though. And it's going to be another solid part. Surely I can pick up a birdie here somewhere. But this really is a difficult golf course, guys. But really enjoying the test that the course and master swing difficulty does bring to the game. Five irons made for this with the, the wind holding me up. That's a baby fast. Surely that starts to turn towards the pin. It's just staying left. The wind didn't help me out. And once again, look how quickly that ball stopped. It just doesn't look natural to me. I do think that the ball physics, especially on the greens, really needs looked at. That's on a good line. That should start to turn back. Please get in. Get in. Has it got the legs? It does have the legs. What a fantastic birdie. I think that's probably my longest putt of the game so far. That takes me back to plus one. In the replays, I've noticed your eyes, especially on your character, my player. The player just looks like a psycho. I don't know what it is. The eyes just look really, really weird. Obviously, that's another glitch. But I'm sure we will find many glitches the more we play the game. Hole number 16. Long par four into this wind. Just going to take this down the right-hand side of the fairway. Allow that wind to bring me back. It's a tiny slow once again. I think this could well hit this rock. It has. That's a favourable kick. It's probably gained me about 15, 20 yards. Still a lot of work to do. Once again, very narrow, tight green. There is a backstop if I am long. Anything on the green here is good. Especially down at the bottom part near the pin. It's another tiny slow, but the wind is comfortably taking me back around. Is this going to hold the green? That's a fantastic approach shot. And it's going to be another chip-in chance. And you will see how little I need to move the club back here to get the required distance. Is that going to turn? Oh, once again we just burn past the left-hand side of the cup. I'm sure we will get to grips with the short game. It's like any new game when there's changes and things it does take a few rounds or a few hours to improve and get used to it but let's see if we can finish at level par here this is a difficult shot having to play this out to the left and hope the wind takes me round anything to the right of the pin should be decent oh it's a fast on a pool that's going to kick into the water despite the fade it has done Oh, it's disaster. That has killed my round. I'm never going to get back to level par now. No way. Still not the best of drop zones in the game, sadly. It's one thing I was hoping would be much improved. But I'm going to take that back to the tee box. So five woods, certainly the club. Oh, it's another tiny fast. The wind's trying to help me out here. This may stay dry. Oh, there's water there. I did not even see that water. And I am having an absolute meltdown on the 17th. Let's see if I can flop this one close. Full loft. Full backspin. Just try to get this on the green. Oh, early. This is going from bad to worse. This is now for a triple bogey. Couldn't make it up. I did say a few holes ago that this is the kind of course that a few bad shots just kill you. That's in. 
It is in. We do chip it in for the triple bogey. That will put me to four over par. That is so frustrating, really disappointing. But I am having a blast out here on the Highlands. Probably one of the most renowned Tiger Woods fantasy courses in the world. And we do move on to the final hole, four over. This is a par five. Once again, tough tee shot. I'm just going to deal off the driver here, play the wind, and try and find the fairway. Let's see if we can finish with a birdie. There's a decent strike. This ball should kick left. Anything left is always going to kick back into play here. Hopefully it holds on to the fairway. Cool rock structures in this hole. Especially just to the right of the green. This is certainly a tough hole. Let's see if five wood can avoid the bunkers. Once again playing for the right hand side. It's another tiny slope. It should kick off this bank back into play. Are we going to avoid the hazards? That's gaining speed. We've actually kicked in to the heavy raft. Not ideal, but it is going to give me an opportunity to get this up and down for the birdie. I'm going to go normal lob wedge here. Full loft and backspin and try and get this dialed in with the wind. This is not an easy shot. It's a tiny slow, good strike. This is loaded with spin. This should spin back. It stopped dead, didn't generate any backspin. But it is going to give me a birdie opportunity. Would love to finish with a birdie here. Surely this turns from left to right. Just going to play this dead weight. Great putt line. Great read. And a great birdie. And with that I do finish with a 75 3 over par. But what a fantastic course that is guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching me play it. I will make sure you see what I unlock towards the end of the video. But that is it for today's round, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.